months of being without my dominant right hand, I finally decided to work on a new project. Primarily a project for myself because I have found that I have very little light sitting in my chair and working on things. So I decided that I would make myself a lamp. In the search for a lamp that was already existing, uh, we were finding that we weren't seeing anything that we liked. Then I said, you know what? I can make one. I'm ready for this. So I decided that I was going to make a full up 3D version of a drawing that I had done about six months ago. So here what I'm doing is I'm making the skeleton of the raven and uh, I used just plain wire to make that skeleton to attach the silverware to. And the head is made from, believe it or not, a old grenade shell that I got off a recycle guy. The feet are made from large hex head screws and I just put them together. And then here I'm actually bending the screws to mimic the claws going around the branch when I finally perch the raven in its place. Then on to the fight of figuring out how to get the vines to work just right and make it look organic. That was a big struggle for me because I don't have the grip strength I used to have and the rebar was fighting me. But once I got the base done, the legs are on there and I used a little bit of heat to bend those in an organic way, I was off to the races and it moved pretty quickly and smoothly. So this will be the first time in six months that I've worked with flatware in any shape or form, so I was worried that I wouldn't have the dexterity that I used to have, considering that I'm just one week post physical therapy after having reconstruction surgery on my right index finger. So this is where I had a stopping point on the first day, but it gives you an idea of where I left off and a good view of my messy shop. Day two was spent mostly on getting the underlayment on the bird. So when you are laying the flatware on, you have to layer it in a way that, number one, you can't see the welt, and number two, you work from the inside out so that the in, the, in the long run, the wings will be last. So I have to do the belly and the back, and um, I actually do the face, but I didn't record that. I don't know why, but you'll get to see it in a few seconds. So after day two, I had the face completed and the belly and back and a part of one wing. So as we move on to day three, I am working on the legs, getting them finalized because it's on the underside and we wanna be able to hide all of that in a natural way. I uh, fortunately have skills at doing this because I've done a raven once before. So I'd already been here, so I knew what order of operation to work things. I had already made all my mistakes. The struggle I have here is that I already put it onto the branch itself, so I'm having to wrestle with the whole tree itself and not have to look up into the raven. My neck was starting to get sore. So I had to work with what I had. So I'm finishing off that final wing. discovered that I didn't give myself enough uh, structure to weld to, so I actually had to cut some handles off some of the 
forks that I had already and extend because I cut a little too much off the fork itself when I put it in there not realizing I didn't have anything to weld to. And then moving on to the more difficult portion for me is the fine detail of sewing the lampshade, which was a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be, but it worked out in the end. I happened to find just the right material at the fabric store and I'm very, very pleased with the outcome. The only downfall was is that a good portion of this is all hand sewn and I had to use my struggling hand for a good portion of it. But in the end, I was very pleased with the outcome. This is the final product. Actually, sands the tassel. We discovered that the light was going just below the lampshade itself and it was glaring across the room. So I had to put a little fringe around and I never got a photograph of me actually adding the fringe around, but it was a detail that we didn't think that we were gonna add and we ended up really loving it in the end. Here at the end, I put a lot of photographs in, but I had a really hard time getting the whole thing in in one photograph. So I tried to provide everybody with some detailed pictures of what it looked like when the light was on and what the light was off. And here it is, the final product with the tassel.